Do you want to record videos directly into your IP camera without using DVRs or NVRs? I have the solution for you, so keep watching. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Claudemir Martins. Today I will show you guys how to record videos directly into your IP camera. You don't need any VR or DVR, you just need an SD card and you can record directly into the camera, okay? But before you continue, just remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the buttons below, also leave your thumbs up and your comments, okay? So let's come here to my desk, I'm gonna show you some equipment. So here I have a box camera and also have a dome camera. Th those are IP devices, okay? And here I have an SD card. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit later, okay? And here I have a power injector. The idea is to make this, the system as simple as possible. So what I have here is a connection to the camera. So let me move this to show you guys better. You can see here data and power so it's data and power from the camera okay so i send power to the camera using this cable you see it's the same cable that's connected here okay sending power to the camera and also receive data from the camera data comes here and data leaves here and comes to my computer so my computer is also connected here so it's pretty easy to use and in this side of course I connect to the uh, to the outlet okay so it's an outlet connection here and here data and power pretty simple to use i'll let the description of this device a link for for this device in the description of this video okay and let me just uh zoom in a little bit so you can see better what i'm about to show here here we go so here we have a dome camera. Let me put it that way, okay? And this dome camera, I have here a connection for the UTP cable. Okay, so you can connect your cable here. Here we go. Just like this one, if you're using a dome camera. And just right here, I have uh, an input for SD card, okay? So here I can put an SD card. In fact, it's a micro SD card. The same way I have here, I have a connection for cable, I can uh, use a power supply here, but if I don't want to, I can just use the cable, the way I'm using here is easier, right? So I connect the cable here with PoE to power the camera, and here I have my SD card, it's already here inside, my SD card, and I have a LED showing that the card is already been used, it's recording, okay? Talking about the SD card, here I have uh, an adapter and here I have the micro SD card. That's the card I'm using inside of this camera, okay? It's a card that's ready to record in this camera. I will leave the link in the description. You must buy the correct card, okay? So here back on my computer, what I have, it's a web browser. It's already open it here. So I can type here the IP of the camera. Of course, you need to go to your menu, to your menu, camera menu, to find the IP and the user and password. So I have here the user and password. I got that from the menu, or you also can configure your user and password. And here you go, you have image from the camera, okay? I'll just move my hands in front of the camera so you can see here on the screen. Here we go. Moving my hands there, I can see it here, okay? You can also see there's a yellow square. This yellow square is showing that there is some movement in front of the camera. The camera has motion detection feature, so I can show, I can see that's moving here, okay? So if I go to set up event and I can find storage, and then I find my SD card, it's enabled, and it's recording. Of course, for your camera, it should be different, it should be a different menu, but the principle is the same. You must find your storage card and make sure that it's recording, okay? And also in this camera, I have MD, that stands for motion detection. 
And motion detection here, it's enable. You see, it's on. That's why I have um, the camera recording only when there is motion in front of, of it, right? So when I move here, I can see motion. That's better because you're recording uh, every time there's a motion in front of the camera. So if I come here to playback, then I can see what's recorded in the card from date and time, or I can come here by event and search by event, okay? So let me search here for motion detection. I have another options here, but I'm gonna use motion detection and event search. Then I can see everything that's recorded here. I have five events recorded. The last one is just right here. I'm gonna play it. Here we go, it's already playing. And here's my hand moving in front of the camera, okay? And the camera can also record a little bit before the movement and a little bit after the movement, okay? There's some buffer there, the camera is buffering. There's some memory in the camera, so it can record like five seconds before the movement and five seconds after the movement, okay? That's all what I'm doing here, okay? So guys, just remember that you must have the same IP, the same range of IP, okay, in the computer and in the camera. Let's say, for example, you have 192.168.11, in your camera. You must have something like 192.168.1.2 in your computer, meaning they are in the same IP range, right? One ending in one and one ending in two, okay? So you can have uh, access to the camera and you can have access to the menu. You got that from your menu, your camera menu, and then you access the camera and you configure it like just like this. It's a pretty simple step, okay? It's not rocket science. Just connect everything, log into the camera and configure it like this, okay? So guys, that, guys, that's all for today. I hope that can help you guys with your camera, with your recording. And don't forget to leave your comments here, to subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up, and also visit my blog, learnctv.com. I have a lot of information there. And look at the link in the description for the equipment that I use in here, okay? So guys, thank you very much, and I see you in the next video. Bye.